Hello and welcome to Universal Love Law. Um, today I wanted to make a video for everyone all about the um, underworld. You know, I feel like I'm very in tune with the darker realities of life on a spiritual level. But I don't dibble and dabble with anything dark because I don't, I'm not a left hand feel person. Um, I just didn't come with that um, desire in my heart to get even on certain things. Uh, but I know that this is a world and real realm of duality. I understand that yin and yang, good and bad, all of these things coexist together for a reason. So, um, yeah, but I do feel like there's a very like i feel like collectively we're becoming aware of this whole left hand and right hand kind of um choices and spirituality right you can you can um be in the left hand field or the right hand field whatever ultimately um the left hand field would be more so towards working with magic and spell work and spell casting working with spiritual uh non-physical beings or um manipulating source energy right which we're all uh, we're all in all things in essence are of sources energy uh but being able to bend and and uh form the reality through your intention and your sacrifice and the rituals that take place in the left hand field right uh, for better for worse for good or bad whatever the intent is from the spell casters the ones who do that work then we have our right hand path people which are more so um they preach of love and light and they balance out that dark energy um and there's a reason for these people as well I like to consider myself more right path. I don't even dibble and dabble with with no magic or anything like that. I'm very well of its powers. I The only magic I do is within myself and my mind. Uh, I believe that the brain is a very powerful tool. And if used correctly, uh, you can manifest. You can do a lot of things that, um, you know, um, left hand path uh, spiritualists take or just people who are you know into the right hand path you know but they just I kind of lost my concept um, they just don't know some people feel like they have to do a lot of work with things to get things done and if it's in your heart to move into that path that's absolutely okay with you and that's what you should do right um if you feel as though you're drawn to uh connecting with the spirits if you're drawn to um connecting to the other realms and wanting to be able to see that with your vision right or sense it with your uh, cognitive recognitions right like in your sensory I feel like you know that that option was given to us I feel like a lot of our books are pretty much kind of written with space like you think of the Akashic records right you think about your purpose in life and like where you your highest purpose right that's written and then there's also um, a destiny that's written where in that lifetime as that name who you are right maybe this one now with that sign star constellation alignment um with that uh family background origin race that you were born into all the choices that we make before coming here might align you to your um lesson or your purpose being uh, a greater lesson than more 
um, some sense of payback or notoriety or you know the the uh, flowers that we get in life some people choose life paths where they experience a great deal of um, energy or uh, it, emotions that are that range between the lower spectrum right of fear guilt anger frustration all of these um, energies that are more um, stronger in its in its um, frequency and it's not strong like I'm not saying that peace and love is not a strong energy but what I mean is like the um, it's very strong in its energetic aura right in um, a more toxic way right that will bring forth those experiences necessary so if you um, if your dominant energy that you are in that you wake up in every day is of a lower vibration right that we um, might call a fear a fear-based person you you will definitely attract what you are right this is a world a realm of a tr life attracts like so expect to be expect to attract your mirrors expect to attract what you are inside right so me having access to the to the underworld due to the um the race i chose the um the place i chose to be born right the city the environment all of these things that i chose um for a greater purpose of course it it all aligned me to where i am today this predominant energy that i'm in so if you back to topic if you are in a predominant energy in a negative or lower or a higher you will attract that to you and the lessons will be you know um given to you some people prefer to organize and arrange their life to experience a a, a, a cognitive dissonance right where they know better but they just don't do better right or they stay confined to the cultural um upbringing like religion and things that they might need to break free from the cognitive dissonance is them being stubborn in their thinking um but like when you open pandora's box you cannot shut it once you know something you can't unlearn it so i'm going to talk about the underworld today in a way that many people probably have approached trying to talk about it so let's jump right on in so let's um talk about the realm of pimping and pandering okay we're going to talk today about the the relationships between the pimp and the prostitute. Um, the reason why I chose this topic today is because I watch a show called Soft White Underbelly. And I grew up around a lot of people that were on drugs, that like um, sold drugs, that were prostitutes, that were pimps, that were in that whole life scammers whatever you name it <clears throat> i you name it i've seen it so and you know i've always been more in tune with a higher purpose and knowing and knowing what was right and wrong for me um but that doesn't make their choices and decisions in their life right or wrong that's what they needed to experience so we're going to talk about this underworld theme or this energy that uh, souls attract to and some even sign up for contractually and what that is right so that we can learn to 
understand why the soul would choose pimping and prostitution um right now this isn't just in the ghettos of you know america this is all around the world a lot of people know the the um the oldest one of the oldest sins right correlate to the act of selling your body for money right we justify it in so many ways and that's fine there is no right or wrong in experiences and in life we choose our experience to grow so our soul can evolve the soul never you know goes backwards once your soul has understood something and learned it you move forward. The soul will no longer desire those kind of experiences, okay? So if a soul came comes here, we see a lot of people on that show. And a lot of people in the comments, I love reading the comments because it taps me into the collective in a way that, you know, the comment section really can help a, a person who's, who understands the algorithms. Um, like me, I understand how to communicate or I understand where we are as a consciousness as a whole because we are all one. And then I understand how the subgroups and how everybody thinks, you know, in their own groups, even down to the individual, how distorted that can all get, right? But overall, the comment section really help you to understand how people view it, the world of, you know, the underworld, whatever it is that, you know, the darker side of life. One might wonder why would a soul choose to incarnate into a darker soul i mean into a darker experience or the underworld sometimes we judge things from a perspective of a human being because we feel the emotions and the pain of things and it and we 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 only can see it from the lens of the like why would a soul choose this because we don't understand that there's a reason why we forget i always say this over and over i always say this um when a soul chooses a very hard life we always say it's karma and things of that nature i have my own take on karma and what i understand it to be um that some people might relate to but we're not going to get into karma today but kind of we'll talk about it here and there because it goes into the world of pimping and hoeing pimping and pandering the underworld of that why would a person sell their body and give all their money to the pimp this is one of the oldest you know hustles in man history uh in the history of um in the evolution of mankind right um in it even goes back to the bible stories right and so i say all that to say like there's multiple ways that we can explore the topic from the viewpoint of judgment like why would people choose this for themselves and then from a higher perspective which is a more spiritual um and a higher realm of looking at things right a, a higher perspective so the soul might be in a lifetime feeling like why did i choose this i'm dirty i don't feel I don't like I don't feel like I love myself and all those things but remember if we were to take away these meat suits all we would be would be a ball of energy that has uh feelings right so if we understand that in the unseen realm like attracts like right so when you are vibrating on a certain frequency that's why I kind of was talking about the frequencies earlier when you're vibrating on a certain frequency, you will attract these kind of people that emulate mirror to you who you are until you evolve into your consciousness of thinking. So a prostitute might have feelings of low self-esteem. Now, there, let's talk about the different kind of prostitutes first and foremost. So, um, you know, when we talk about prostitution... They're the ones, they're the ones who like to get dressed up. They hold, like the whole, the whole uh, process of it. You know how some people like, like getting ready, 
more than going out like the going out part or the going out part was okay but the getting ready is fun right so like some prostitutes they like the whole act of like getting their self into this fantasy into this creation in their mind accessing this a uh, fantasy role right that they choose to tap into another thing is sometimes prostitutes have low self-esteem and so they jump out there and they do it uh and that they might even not even spend that much time in the mirror getting ready right that's a different kind of energy signature so we're talking about energy right now we're not talking about what a person is doing this is why there are prostitutes that are high vibrational in a sense because they attract a lot more money more white nicer qualities upper echelons of life then we have those you know street prostitutes that are just um this is the way they view themselves subconsciously even if they don't realize it or not so all i'm doing i'm not taking any if first and foremost if this if if you're i should have said this in the beginning if you're not of a sound mind please don't comment don't say anything just go watch something else um, and if you are not old enough mentally mature to understand these concepts, please click off. Or you can take this information as pure entertainment, okay? But uh, you don't have to take what I'm saying as ultimate truth. Or, and I'm not trying to offend anyone that might be in the underworld. Or, um, you know, so... Let's talk about the energy, right? We have different energies in these type of people that sell their physical body for money. So the energy, the meat soup, the face, the face and the skin and the way they dress and that doesn't matter. It's about the energy within. This is why they can this is why they attract certain type of people. Mirrors to themselves that will you know give them their value and what they believe they're valued and a lot of things the psychological mind of a prostitute is has a lot to do with value and self-esteem okay so this is on one end of the spectrum when it comes to the prostitutes in on a spiritual level when it comes to energetically how they feel is what they attract and a lot of their mind is placed on, you know, we all have this sense of esteem and what we consider our values. This is second house in astrology, right? This is second house in astrology. So we're talking about material values, our self-worth, what we feel that we desire. This is getting into philosophy of the realm of Sat. This is a Saturn ruled world. This is a earth based world, right? We have the Taurus, which is the Earth and the Venus energy beauty. This is why incarnating on Earth with physical beauty is uh, is something a soul chooses in their contract or not, because it's certain gains, it's certain things you can gain more of, and it's certain experiences you gain with beauty alone. The Earth energy, the Taurus Venus Earth energy then we have that capricorn stability energy right and what makes the world go around is money fiat currency so we're talking about the energy of the influence of saturn right money um value you place your value on things and you pay what you feel it's worth right now we're moving into the age of aquarius where the values some just people paying attention to you um, through the devices, electronics, this is all uh, Aquarius energy. That's paying, right? Because you're paying attention. And so the currency is with your attention. Uh, but this is the new realm we're moving into. But originally and ultimately, this still is an earth realm. Then we have the very last one, the thinking, methodical thinking. The, the, uh, perspective of it all which is virgo energy uh and the the routines of life okay the routines the daily routines of life what we do every day this is the earth energy that rules this realm 
So we're talking about, see, the reason why people need to understand that it will forever be a concept and will forever be a topic of discussion when it comes to the world of pimping and pandering, uh, prostitution, uh, and selling your body for money, and then the uh, the give and take, the trading process, the values that go into this underworld, and what what is happening on a spiritual level, because we we there are souls that sign contracts to become these type of sexual people, and some of them aren't even sexual. A lot of the people that our prostitutes don't even like the job that they do. So you know that it deals with the mindset. So then we have the renegades, right? These are the ones that probably like to just, they're addicted to the experiences that come with life um, as a prostitute, okay? Because the renegades, a renegade is a term that's used in the underworld, in the ghettos, of a, of a prostitute that doesn't have a pimp, right? They're just a lone soldier, a lone wolf, and they they understand the ism, they understand the, the, the philosophy, the mind, the concepts, and they learn their game, which is the do's and don'ts, the, the oral tale, the, the communication, like, the unspoken words is not a book you can find this stuff written down well nowadays you probably have it written down but usually the game is meant to be sold not told so renegades they learn their experience they learn from you know having experiences with people that taught them oh i can't move like that or i can't do that whereas that's a different energy now when we get into the whole mindset of the pimp and the prostitute this is a dual uh, this is a yin and yang. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. They and it's a on a spiritual level because I'm not trying to do this to glorify this lifestyle or anything or showcase my mind about my knowledge from the underworld because that's neither here nor there. You know, me knowing these things really don't you know change anything or affect anything. Well, it does help me to understand the world. I think that's why I chose it. This is why I chose to be born into a family full of all of these underworld things because I'm seeing it. But I never chose these lifestyles because they never spoke to me. I was always a free spirit, very spiritual, in tune with music. And I just was a little different than a lot of people I know. So that wasn't an option, but I soak up all of these experiences and I learned and I was always in tune with the spiritual thing aspect of things and I bet you if you meet you some pimps and prostitutes and stuff like that they got a lot of spiritual stories to tell you because angels are with these people these people just because they're living in the underworld right and this is their life every day doesn't mean that this is a bad or good thing it doesn't mean the angels are not walking with them or are. It doesn't mean that they're just prone to uh, being, you know, for all negativity. Because t trust and believe me, God can show itself in any crack and crevice of the earth. Okay, the the energy of light, which which deals with unconditional love, that can be found in the darkest corners of the world, okay? In any part of the underworld. Trust and believe me. So, and I'm making this video for people who understand. Like, if you don't understand, then it's not for you. You will never understand. Maybe it's just purely entertainment. But for those who always felt like something because they are born in these kind of realities or they've seen these things too or they just really want to learn without judgment like i just want to understand this video is for you give me your feedback tell me what you think right so we understand there's different energies if you take the skin remember like i said you take the skin the meat suits away we're just a ball of energy so like attracts like so the reason why pen prostitutes get into the underworld can be for many reasons but a lot of the lessons are all centered around the values the self-value the self-worth 
how to correlate this this source energy, this God energy that we're born and incarnated here with, and how to relate it to this practical realm we're living in. A lot of these people that commit to um, fast money, because you got to listen to the reason why the prostitutes say they do it. I'll get into the pimp and then the whole pimp and prostitute relationship and why, what that is karmically, right? Or soul tie wise. So yeah, like when we're talking about the, um, see, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, let me go, let me go get some more hot water for my tea. Okay, I'm back. So now let's move into understanding, um, the energy, right? So spiritually, what's happening, if we, we talk about metaphysics, this means beyond the physical. So we're on the third dimension where things are heavy, dense, in weight, um, but we're also in tune with all the, all the dimensions are sync, like in sync with each other. The only thing is, like a lot of people, we're in tune with the third D because that's where we incarnate here. Okay, so we see, we understand things through our five senses and through what we can see, taste, touch, hear, smell, all of these things. And then there's that sixth sense, right, where you're in tune with things that are unseen your intuition then we move into the clairs where we're able to tap into the unseen realm which are the higher dimensions and these realms we are able to um depending on what gifts you're given or you act exercise to access uh, you're able to see things where time isn't really linear and the way that things are on the third dimension are kind of very different in higher dimensions so the reason why people on a soul level might attract to a lifestyle of prostitution like i said could be many reasons but ultimately it was a choice before incarnation here okay so that's dealing with the akashic records that's dealing with the the signing of contracts, the bond connections, and the times we run into certain people to learn certain lessons in life and all of these things. Now, let me tell you, some people, some higher selves will continue to uh, reincarnate in. Sorry about that. Uh, some souls will continue to reincarnate in these underworlds, underrounds, trade places with from being the person they call the trick that is that pays the money to being the person that you know is the prostitute to being the pimp these are all roles that the higher self see we're here to master and understand be careful what you judge because you might just become that what you're judging okay you gotta understand when we're in the spirit realm we're bored we want to experience life again See, so you, you just got to understand your higher self chooses this. We here, we're very powerful when we tap in tune with our higher self. The more that we try to escape our higher self, the more that we will be victims to the harsh realities of life. Life on life's terms. But when you understand there's a bigger reason... When you understand that there's a purpose for life and why we're all here doing this thing together. We're in it as a collective. We're in it to win it. We're here to regain our grace, okay? We're here to regain our awareness of how powerful we are. And so as we evolve in consciousness, the soul might, you know, a lot of souls, they choose to incarnate in the underworld realms as every player, okay? So that their soul can understand all of this. We say it's karma. Like, let's say the person who um, was the drug dealer that maybe shot the person who is the, um, the, um, the other drug dealer. They were in a war and one was a victim and died and was murdered and robbed maybe 
the soul that did that might incarnate as that person, the opposite to experience what it feels like. And it's not a choice that we make or it's not like a un, 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 like we didn't choose it. Like karma just pushed it on us. No, these experiences happen to us by choice. And when we become aware of that, we break, we break the spell that is a victimhood. We rise the consciousness collectively when we all take responsibility and understand that our soul chose a degree of this. We would really, like imagine if the whole world got rid of its victimhood, where, what, so with every, when every door closes, a new door opens, okay? And remember that. That's a little message for anyone that might be going through something out there right now. I'm talking to you. When one door closes, two doors open. Remember that. I'm not just making this up like to make you feel good. I'm telling you the truth. It's coming. Your time is coming. You know, it might take a while. It might be very soon. But when one door closes, two open. Life revolves around your better, your highest good. Life is happening for you, not to you. So just try to stay upbeat. Keep those high vibes because I'm, I'm sorry. I keep getting off track, but I feel pulled to say certain things. I have to say it, but um, I digress. So when we're talking about the prostitute, there are many different kinds of prostitutes. They come in all different shapes, form, and fashions. There's a very high end, high value. This is all centered around value, self-esteem, self-worth. Um, that's what it all boils down to, okay? So maybe the higher self needs to understand an experience regarding worth, your worth, right? Um, as a man, as a male, you know, because... Okay, so as a male in this underworld, as the pimp, right? Okay, let's let's get into first and foremost how pimps are created, just like the prostitutes. The prostitutes are created right with uh, from maybe a traumatic experience early in childhood that caused them to go down that route. Some of them were very square, born and raised in families that were very positive upbringings, right? And then they move into, you know, the underworld. Their soul chose that they were destined to be there. <laughs> you know. You know, like the soul was going to lead its way. It was going to find its way there anyways. So let's talk about the perspective from the pimp, right? So first and foremost, there's many ways that pimps are made. There's different kind of pimps. Some of them are were influenced by the other males around them. And those are the ones that people make fun of. Like, what are you doing this for, right? Everyone has that in every, not just the underworld, just in regular life. People imitate each other. We imitate each other because we're all collectively one. So, um, you know, it's those people that's like, those are the people that, you would think karma keeps coming for them. Spiritually, you would think, like, what are they doing? Like, why are they in this lifestyle? Because it's not working for them. You know, they attract the type of person they are. So they experience lower vibrational energies. This is why you can see uh, some pimps that are very sophisticated, right? So this is where it all boils down to, too. We have our jokester energy, Mercurian energy, the magician, okay? The one who's the illusionist, the one who wants to feel power, right? And has to create this illusion to, they have to create this illusion to have power and yield power over another person. So the pimp can be all kind of different energy. See, I, and that's the thing. I, 
used to see a lot of different people in the way that they do it. And I say that I can sense the energy behind that pimp, what we call pimp, right? And so, you know, certain peas, they're very, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a positive, never been one. That's not what I'm saying. I just, I'm in tune with the underworld. Like I said, some of them, when I view them, you know, I see the ones that are just doing it because they seen their uncle doing it, their dad doing their grandpa. That ran in my family. I had a lot of pips in my family and a lot of them wanted to be like my grandfather. I made a video before about my grandfather and I told the world how he was a pimp, made millions and then lost it all to drugs. And he was once a millionaire to stone cold on drugs, you know, but that was his life. And that's what he chose. He's an ancestor now and his experience and memories can be tapped into as an energy if one chooses. But ultimately, there was a lot of hardship and trial and tribulation in his life. In the spectrum of experiences, this person was a millionaire. So this is why I say, sometimes the sins of your father can be passed to the sons and daughters. Okay? Because now here we have the same thing where the, pen, the, the sons, I have a lot of uncles and my mom's brothers. A lot of them, you know, they um, wanted to be just like their dad or whatever, right? So here we have one who was a master at manipulation, the mercury energy, Papa Legba energy, the energy of the jokester, the trickster, the one who can use this magical gift of the tongue to create a fantasy that will hook a woman onto because they have desires. Some people, so the pimp is a very interesting character spiritually because these people are, you know, it's different kinds. It's the ones, like I said, that will follow, want to be a pimp because they see somebody else or the true ones, which are just master manipulators. And they have all of this awareness of, um, left hand kind of magic with this is dealing with the the spirit okay it is a spirit to have the ability to understand uh hidden cues okay this some of this could be just psychological right some people are just very good observant of body cues right but a pimp teaches the woman the game right so in this cardism I'm giving it all away. You know, the game meant to be so not tell. I'm not going to tell it all. but And I know this from, not from experience, like I was in it, but like a third eye, you know. Uh, I'm outside of the glass looking in because I, I, ha I have access to the window. Some people don't, they can't look in the window because they're not around it. To, they're not around that type of energy to see, right? And so, like... But I'm still not judging or knocking anybody in that world because I understand that our souls choose certain lifestyles. And um, people that choose these lifestyles, you got to give it to them because, for one, they choose to incarnate to not care what other people think. So that's automatically them building, you know, character on a soul level. Learning how to uh, not care what the naysayers think is a big thing from the pimps and prostitutes, right? Um, now, the tricks, they might have a lot of shame uh, because nobody wants to be, you know, I feel like the pimps and the prostitutes, they kind of learn, they get a sense of pride in the work that they do, right? But the... um. But the um, tricks, the one giving out the money, they'd feel tricked, right? So it's a game. It's all a game. And everybody, every player has a role. And everybody that's in the game has a spiritual lesson to be learned. So I look at the underworld as a grounds, as a school. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My son, he has 
a nosebleeds all the time at nighttime when he gets too hot. That's just my baby boy. That's just how he always been. So, so yeah, um, like I was saying, it's a grounds for these kind of ex Oh my God. I just, my, okay. Anyways, I digress. So the underworld is a grounds for these kind of experiences to take place. Sorry about that. Um, so we, we should expect, you know, these kind of energies and experiences like life is all about experience regardless if people know that or are aware of that or not life is about experience so regardless of whether or not you you know want to go through something or not or you're going to go through whatever it is your higher self chose to go through before you even came here you're going to go through it it's it's just a part of life so when we're talking about the people that become pimps there's different kinds they're the ones who are like parrots they just uh repeat after whatever they've heard other people say you know when other pimps get around each other they take each other's they mount see that's another thing um a lot of people want to get under very well-known pimps because they mount the energy of that spirit that that spirit possesses see people wouldn't even know how much is going on spiritually on the unseen realms behind the scenes beyond the veil this is what a scorpio mercury kind of person like myself or scorpio dominated people or, or eighth house people this is what they are tapped into they understand they understand it all they understand that you know we're living in a world of unseen and seen the physical the non-physical all happening simultaneously the only thing is when we're here <laughs> when we are here we are we have to apply abide by the physical this is a world of quantum physics, cause and effect. The physical rules of this realm, of the, the earth realm. So that's why life here, you know, we, we get consumed in our everyday routines and earth energy, Virgo, sixth house energy, right? A lot of the people living in the underworld, this is something they do every day. They wake up and they feel this way. And you know, one, would, one would wonder why now let's say we have those pimps that are you know that are so mounting let's talk about mounting what is mounting okay so first and foremost there's a there's different traditions where the mounting is where one where the spirit kind of connects to the soul I believe that it connects and aligns to the soul um, and it and it could take a physical effect but it also could take you might not see that this is what's happening but this is when the soul is mounted by a spirit a certain spirit and it could be many different spirits that a soul mounted a lot of you guys might have mounted a certain spirit if you guys mimicked or mocked or imitated a person or followed a person that's you in a sense mounting the energy of an essence of the spirit of another person right some people come with the true embodiment of that spirit um, attached to them the original essence of the spirit whatever that is if it's uh, these ancient spirits that we have in certain cultures even given names Okay, now when you go into the world of like Santeria and Voodoo and all of these different old traditions, these are traditions where they understand the act of mounting very well. They do it in rituals and they do it 
um, for certain reasons, okay? So one would not even imagine the spirit that is possessed in the underworlds, right? We have spirits of the right hand path and we have spirits of the left hand path. We have spirits of uh, that can embody both. We have a, there are certain spirits that you can get the love and compassion of that spirit, whatever the, the essence of the deity, whatever one, whatever it is, the energy. Overall, it's just energy, spirit. So one can uh, access the compassion and the strength of that energy. And one can also access the the torture and torment the chaos of that energy because just like you know some spirits work in duality some spirits don't work in duality they are either completely of the um chaos energy or some spirits are very um high enlightened into the uh, unconditional love energy now there are spirits that are in between so when we're talking about energy right we're talking about spiritual metaphysical concepts and how this plays out in the underworld pertaining to to pimping and pandering right prostitution tricks and the whole aspect and lifestyle of that these so-called pimps sometimes not the ones that are like that are really mounted with that that type of spirit. We'll talk about that too. Uh, they might want to mimic and mock the ones that have the original energy signature of whatever spirit they have on them, right? Um, and some people like they say you can see ever since they grew up, they were either gonna be a pimp or a preacher, not. This is something I've heard growing up, right? And what do pimps and preachers both have in common? See? So, and so the preacher has a gift of gab and so does the pimp, right? The pimp has this ability to create an illusion, a false perception over the person that they're trying to, you know, control ultimately to gain whatever it is they're trying to gain um and so the spirit that they possess is a very manipulative spirit manipulating spirit one who likes to and seeks control okay dominion domination me me personally i feel like there are some souls that like to submit to higher powers i don't i don't I don't. Some people will admit to you that they love to submit to a, a, a stronger energy, okay? Um, and it's just, it just, it just really, like if only I can explain what I'm, if only I can explain what I'm trying to say, like, or what I'm seeing. We are the physical manifestations of principalities we're just in meat body suits okay we are physically playing out the energies and the essence of the spirits okay of the spirit of whatever spirit you ever heard in high school when they have a teen spirit right or you go to, well, I don't know, these new, um, I mean, well, sadly, my, my niece was a part of that 2018, 1920, I mean, 19, 20, 21, I think, uh, where they didn't have no graduation, like, that COVID, they didn't have, they couldn't, I think they were doing virtual, and, like, they didn't do the pep rallies, and so, sorry to them, but, like, I don't even think I would have any 18 year olds watching my videos. I probably would, but um, like I usually get older people watching my videos, but 
yeah, like, you know, there was this thing called Team Spirit, right? There was the, the pep rally where, you know, you're cheering each other on, right? It's a reason why they call it that. If you, it don't matter what, well, it do matter what school you go to because Team Spirit can have different energies that that's, you know what they're doing when they're, when they're beating on their arms. I mean, their uh, legs and they're like, go, go, go. Everybody feeding off each other, their energies. They're mounting the spirit of whatever the mascot is, if it's an eagle, like there's so many things that happen ritualistically that we don't even know that this is what's taking place spiritually. But see, then there's those cuckoo people or those people who are, you know, just different, like myself, who see things beyond the veil and who are actual intellects who appreciate the value of a true philosopher, someone who can intertwine and bridge the the spiritual metaphysical realm to the physical realm and correlate these unseen things cuz see the benefits of understanding things beyond the veil is you always know the true essence when you are in tune spiritually with yourself in tune with the collective the world when you're in tune with everything all that i am i am that i am when you're in tune with the collective and all that we are we are what we where we are literally we where we are is based on our conscious choice of being here we are all one in this so you know when when we when we tap into that awareness see then life gets a little bit easier so this is why I say all this. I'm telling people about the spiritual aspect of the underworld so that you can learn to not judge it. So we can rise the consciousness of it. So maybe one day a prostitute or ex-prostitute might be watching my video and understand that there was a spiritual energy behind why they were doing the things that they were doing in that time of their life. And that they chose that. And take the victimhood out of it and same for you know every player in that game because you gotta understand this is why i love taking the underworld concepts and putting them into perspective for people on a spiritual level because you understand that these things are going on these things are going on whether you know it or not me i just always was in tune with it for example one time I was meeting up with a person that, God rest his soul, it was my first boyfriend, right? We were really young or whatever. And um, yeah, he, he was taken from this earth early, but um, he, I know, I understand why, you know, people, the whole, I understand life, death, I understand when people get taken or when people go, when it's their time, you know, so, um, but there was a lot of energy around him that I was sensing that I didn't like because of my clairvoyance, my ability to see things and my clairaudience, my ability to hear things and my senses, my sixth sense my gut feeling i knew things and we were spiritually connected this man became a pimp i couldn't believe it um i don't even know it's crazy how i'm sharing this story but when we were young growing up we were playing as kids then when we got older i seen a side to him that i didn't even know existed in him i didn't know this energy was in him but like attracts like we slowly started to pull apart because we were not like each other anymore we were once attracted to each other because we were i was still maintaining the innocence of my childhood my youth and i i um of course i was opening myself up to understanding things you know that were of an older or more mature mind but i wanted to maintain my 
you know preserve my youthfulness so and my youthful spirit you know so i was childish still i wasn't into those things right uh and as you change or as you stay the same other people change you only can attract what you are so slowly we pulled apart but because we are so connected and i got this invalidation and confirmation through a vision and a dream um because we're so connected um i was able to come back uh i was able to understand that this was a part of his life lessons and he needed to learn this but the pimp prostitute thing it blew my mind now this individual was a libra dealing with the energy of love the balance harmony in between two so you have to take into consideration the the astrology you could literally see if you were to see certain people in the lifestyles that they have if you read their chart you can see why they would get into a relationship with someone and then get into that energy of their value being placed on what they can do for another person and you know they're willing to go to the extent of uh doing sexual favor for faster money all of the lifestyle all that comes with that lifestyle right and then them going and you know giving all that money to the person that is influencing them and lacing them with game which is just the spell that they have that person under it's all magic like these people are magicians you gotta understand this is powerful some people when we're talking about the higher end people that are making like millions in the underground realm of pimping and prostitution these are people that their spell casting is very powerful whereas the people that are um you know the people that are um new to it or you know you know of a lower caliber I would say someone that's like a, just a street walker, not making that much money in the game or in that lifestyle. These people are people that are like, you know, um, you know, they're attracting weaker spellcasters. Right. But ultimately, yeah, like that, the person they attract would be a spellcaster that could never knock a top tier woman that needs to be um put under a spell and um put under a spell they need to be put under that spell right by the right person a regular person a regular pimp or a lower tier pimp cannot put a higher tier woman see that's the levels and range of this this is why i understand the art of it the craft of it the reason for it in life these are darker realms. These are under realms. And they exist for a reason. Okay? Once we master this as a collective, we probably won't have a world where this exists. But as as long as the uh, this is a dual world where there is light and dark, good and bad, um, yin and yang, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, there is no mercy. As long as this world has free will there will always be a, a, an extent where this is the place you come to incarnate to have this kind of experience where it feels so real so raw because we are tangible feeling beings where we can feel and see and the emotions are so intense and so strong right so when we're talking about um the spell casting that takes place in the world of uh, pimping and hoeing right pimping and prostitution the pimp is a spell caster you know and this is another thing i want to say on a spiritual level when it comes to the 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 energy spiritually of the feminine and the masculine okay so now we're understanding that when it comes to the world the underworld of pimping and prostitution there is the prostitute who is the feminine energy the yin energy that goes in to receive okay to create life to create whatever you put in it wrath whatever you put in a woman you're gonna get it 
in the creation. It's going to manifest outwardly. So be careful with women and especially women that don't, especially women with, with women that are super emotional and that are not aware of other things consciously because they're the ones that are susceptible to use their emotions to react on revenge and to really mess a person up. I need to do a whole separate relationship topic kind of, you know, that I was going to do a video on that actually. Um, this video is all at an hour and I don't want it too long, but hey, it's some people that love to learn through the lens that I bring, right? But so yeah, there's the feminine energy that is the receiving energy. Then there's the masculine energy that is the achiever, the one that goes out to, you know, get what it wants and brings it in. The, I mean, the um, that goes after, right? That's the act of going after. The the feminine energy is the receiving of the masculine energy, right? And so the masculine energy is um needs the feminine energy it needs something to go after right so whereas this is where the mind games come in between the pimp and the prostitute because and this is where it could get really sticky because everything's in the pimp and prostitute realm is very i believe is very um it does a lot with the communication and the manipulating of the mind Right. And so when we're talking about the um, the man being the spellcaster, right, the masculine energy being the one that, you know, goes out there and uses its magic and do, 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 you're going to do. And this is I'm just being funny right now. But what that would look like and what I'm saying when I say spellcasting is actually the man spending a lot of quality time with the woman telling her how to do things being her motivational speaker, prepping her, encouraging her, and selling her dreams. Like, this one day will get us here. They essentially share a romantic type of relationship, right? I was telling you guys, sorry, I was telling you guys about my first love. He ended up becoming a pimp or whatever, but um, yeah, that was crazy to me because I just couldn't believe it because, and then... So I was observing my first love, pimp, a girl I knew of, right? And she was getting money for this guy. And I knew that wasn't the life for me. Like, I couldn't be a pimp's girlfriend, right? I had to let go of this guy in my heart, mind, body, soul. I knew he ch chose what he was choosing. But I watched his spell work. He was a Libra, rules communication. So it was not hard for him to use his mouthpiece to uh, influence this girl to do everything to get money for him. And it created a spirit in him that I didn't like and led to his demise. Okay, so a lot of other people did not like it. They, I didn't like it because it wasn't the energy I knew once upon a time. I watch someone that I care so deeply about transform and change it to this new person. And it was a spirit that I was unfamiliar with. Now, I don't know where that spirit came from, but I know he mounted it. He mounted that spirit onto him. And so the girl was really, she was really like, I, I was jealous of her. And I couldn't believe why. Because on one end, you have people telling you, like, girl, she nasty. She be doing all this and that. But on the other hand, here I am, like, but I like, I love him. That's my first love, you know? From sandbox to, you know, teenagers. And now we're not, we're growing apart because our energies are shifting. And he's attracting people that I'm jealous just because I really, I'm not jealous of this person. But I'm jealous of like what this person, like that person must love them more than me. But never, he thinks that that person loved. See, these are the, all the thoughts that I was having in my young mind. He thought that she loved him more than her.
But really, they were just learning a lesson from each other, right? He was teaching her something. He was really learn, learning how to flat, like uh, practice his gift of gab. He was That spirit was mounting onto him. And he was needed a willing candidate. And she was willing to do anything. So the pimp hall relationship could turn into a spell cast of love, an illusion. This is Neptune energy, okay? We're talking about the illusion that you know, certain things are something that's really not. It's really not that. But you want it to be that so bad. You want it to be that so bad, but that's not that's not what it is, right? And so, um, yeah, you're you're lying to yourself. And these people, they honestly they need that kind of uh relationship with it's a it's they attract each other there's a victim and the victimizer but this goes into the last point i was going to make before i go off the masculine is the it goes out right and the feminine receives so where the man might think he's in charge because he's doing the spell work who do you think is really in charge who do you think because now here this woman, which is essentially a portal, which is essentially a womb. This woman is a walking, powerful energy source. It's receiving all this energy from this man. So it, ma it matters. It matters about the pimp. The pimp has a role where they use their gift of gab, their mind, their words, their ability to create these illusions over the head of this woman, right? This woman is receiving it and they're taking it in, right? This is the energy between the masculine and the feminine in the underworld, in this realm. But who do you think has the power? The woman. Because the woman, the same energy that influences the man to get up and to motivate her and to put his all into her so she could go out there and get that money she's in control as long as she has the what he wants she's in control because she has him then we get into the point the pimps that um the pimps that uh they Certain women is like, no amount of money can keep them. Like, no, I want a certain type of woman, right? These are people who are very, there could be some very controlling people. People that have lessons to learn with power. So another soul choice and why one would choose to be a pimp. Like, I'm talking about a real bona fide pimp, meaning they are, um, known in that community in that community of people they get a lot of money and they understand the whole like world of it right on a spiritual and physical level right on every level these people um these people um oh i also i just lost my concept my train of thought <laughs> i keep doing that but Overall, I was just saying that the woman has control. Oh, yeah. Why would it? Okay. So why would the pimp choose this? Some of them, the real powerful ones, they have a problem with. They already might possess that kind of energy. So there's the ones that might already possess a very strong influence of the Mercurian energy or the like the uh, air air energy. Right. Or the or, uh, water energy. So people, pimps usually have those kind of energies. The Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. These are the people that could present. This is because it's the feeling and it's the communicator. These people communicate and they use the energy of water to make a person feel good. And that's all we want and feel love, false love sometimes. But some of them can be so cold. Some of them could be stone cold. So then 
you gotta look at the spectrum. We have the pimps that are gorilla pimps, then we have the pimps that are like, um, you know, just like boyfriend pimps. They're the boyfriend. So it's so many. Was it's so much going on spiritually in the underworld, and that's what I'm getting at. You know, the only reason why I I like to talk about things like this is because. For one, I don't know nobody on YouTube talking about the underworld this way, you know, where they're able to correlate different uh, spiritual traditions like the mounting of the spirit or the uh, or astrology concepts, right? Different things that are hat or uh, energies like spell casting with your words. These are this is spiritual things that uh, we all know that's out there that we could correlate to the actual manifestation of the people playing it out, the experience of it all. So we know these things correlate. Overall, um, I don't think I was done even telling the story. I know I am bounce all over the place. That's the water in me. I'm... Cancer moon. I'm sorry, guys. And then I'm a Pisces rising. So I get all over the place sometimes. And my Sagittarius sun, I'll be having a go. I stick on the topic, but I'll be bouncing all around. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah. Ultimately, the guy that I was with that turned into the pimp, he got killed. And God rest his soul. I love him so much still to this day. We wouldn't have been together in life because the way this person was changing the energies in him. I um, I believe the reason why I'm sharing this is because maybe it's going to help somebody out there. Um, maybe someone can relate to it. Maybe it's confirmation. Like, yeah, that was my experience. But, you know, when it comes to him changing and then our energies having to go apart that was free will he came with free will um and so we all did you know and where we start you know is where we essentially will finish but you know sometimes we end up in a whole nother place and i feel like yeah Sometimes I think about that person and just be like, wow, it's just, it's just like life is really crazy. I, I often have phenomena where I think about the last Facebook message that, I mean, the last, I posted a message on Facebook. I mean, a post years ago. This was before 2000 and this was like 2011, 12 or something like that. It's probably 2012 or something. Um, and... The, it was like, and life goes on. I put in, like, and, but in was like, and, and life goes on. I don't know why. I just was like, and life goes on. Like, I felt like, dang, all this stuff is going on. But guess what? Life's still going. The world's still spinning. And he loved, he hearted it before, you know, we, we hadn't talked in a while. He was a new person. We weren't the same anymore. Uh, the way these women would show their loyalty to him, I could never. Because, for one, I knew, I, for one, I, it just wasn't me. To, I, like, I I am a powerful person, and I I choose that. I choose to have and possess power over myself. So I'm not submitting to any spell casting of a man. You know, I'm not doing it. Um, if I go into a relationship, we'll, we'll be equally yoked. We'll be both intellectuals and we'll both have a respect and boundary for each other, never to oppose on each other's free will or to try to dom dominate and have dominion over each other. Because that's dark sided for me. That leads to more experiences that I think I've already experienced. That's why I'm like, I'm not doing it. Uh, but his soul needed to experience those things, you know? He hearted it. And I and I was like, wow, like 
you know. He must be going through a lot and he feel the same way I'm feeling. He wasn't hardening it like, oh, um, she posted something. I'm going to show her I'm looking at her stuff. No, it was real. It was genuine. When I put in life goes on, he felt that. Like, man, I, same, I'm here. Like, life goes on. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. And it was just him telling me goodbye, I think. It was just him saying, like, you know, life is, yeah, there's, like, it's a lot of stuff going on in my life. You might not see me again. You might not ever see me again. But, yeah, so, and that just made me sad. But, sometimes you have to just, you know, control your emotions. I want to just be um, as real as my heart says to be on my channel. Um, I'm not a fool. I'm not. I'm not trying to glamorize this lifestyle that I was born into. I'm just simply sharing my experiences and sharing the, what I went through in life for other people to awaken into understanding that everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual, you know, and I don't judge nothing. Don't judge anything unless you just know, like, it's some, I mean, we're going to judge some things. I'm not going to lie <laughs> because I've been seeing some things right now, like, okay, let me just mention this. And this is the last thing, and then I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this long video, but... I don't even like to get into like people, like spiritual stuff that's happening in the spiritual community, like on YouTube and stuff, because it's so messy and it's so low vibrational to just talk about another person. Like, I don't have time to do that with my viewers. Y'all don't need to be hearing me talk about one person in their life and what they're doing. Like, no, we, I rather us be intellectual and I, and for us to communicate with each other and talk about, uh, life and how we can learn from each other's experiences and what life really is all about and all that good stuff, right? Not just one person and what they're going through. I think that that is not for my channel. I always remind myself of that. Sometimes we do need to use examples though. Then I'm this is my last thing and I'm I'm off here. So a lot of people might know about young Pharaoh. I spoke on him before all this stuff happened when he first lost his YouTube channel. And I said this was before everybody found out about the money and stuff, like all that. I said, like, you know, he I like nothing is a mistake like if we're really spiritual we understand that everything happens for a reason and every cause has an effect this is a physical quantum world like so we know i knew that that was just an experience for him and i wasn't that connected to him to where it was affecting me or, or making me upset right now fast forward all the controversy and essentially him letting you know a lot of people down because a lot of people will see him about to go live and like set a reminder. They were a part, He his teachings, the way he communicated and his words were a part of people's life, you know? And the love that he was bringing to people, that comes with the responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. And so as he got so big, you know, well, I, I can't say what his lessons were. I mean, I can assume as a wise one what I'm observing, but he's going through it, right? And at one time, I was a little bit like, this is something he clearly deserves. He wouldn't be going through it if he didn't. You only get what you deserve in life. So then I'm seeing like, you know, him, you know, doing all these things and cussing and just not his self and i was like like man this man is going through so much now i see every week a new like youtuber that don't show their face don't want to show who they are 
talking down on him and really kicking him while he's down. Uh, shout out to Shut Up and React. I mean, his platform, he's doing it, and I feel a different energy about it. But I do feel like some of these platforms, they are taking his experiences if he's not unhuman, like he's not human. Or like he's a government agent and all this. And even if he is whatever, he's a human being first. And regardless if he's saying he doesn't care what people think, he does. He does. And we are all one. So what are you doing? What you doing to him, you're really doing to yourself. And you don't even know it. Because you haven't reached that. Level. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm just saying these people on here, they haven't reached that level of depths of compassion. And they don't understand what unconditional love is. In order for you to understand that energy frequency, you have to have experienced it. We've all experienced it because we all come from source, which is pure unconditional love. So... For us to come down here, this is why we lose our divinity. Because we kick others while they're down for way too long. I'm from the ghetto. You know, we, we believe in, you know, justice. Karmic justice. You know, when you do something, they be like, that's that's why something gonna happen. You watch. Something happens, it's like, that's what you get. Whatever. You know, that's what we do. But you, it's, a, it's, a, it's a point in when you say enough is enough. He got what... Like, he's getting whatever he deserves, but you don't need to be added to, added fuel to his fire. Like, you're a bully. You're a bully now. You're a bully, and you're not that perfect yourself. So I'm really, really disgusted in these people coming on here, just making a joke and ridiculing that man. That's foul. And in my book, and, and where I'm from, you wouldn't even be able to do that, for real. Like... I'm not even trying to be hard on here or none of that. I'm just speaking facts. Like, where I'm from, bullies get bullied, okay? Like, you're not finna just be a bully for, like, you. Need, it's a level where it's like, okay, pick on somebody your own size. Let that person be. They're already experiencing, you know, humiliation at its finest. Have some compassion. Have some empathy. Because I'm pretty sure if it was you on the other end, you would be begging for mercy. You would be begging for mercy. Pleading. Have mercy on me, please. But some people don't understand until it happens to them. That's why I'm going to maintain my, res my respect on my platform and not talk about people. Because I don't like that. It's not cool. Everybody got a job and role to play. I'm not knocking the people that do. Like, shut up and react. You know, he's a, he's a, he been covering the story. I think as long as he remains balanced, he'll stay out of that. Um, he'll stay off the radar of, you know, us earth angels that actually do not appreciate how he's, how young Pharaoh's getting kicked like this while he's down. He's down. He's really down regardless if y'all know it or not. No matter how much of his ego. Like, so I'm gonna leave it there because I just I think that I've shared enough. But yeah, like everything that's going on, it makes me learn like about what I want for my channel because I see a day where I know I always say this because I'm a very busy person. I really am like if only you guys knew I'm not lying to y'all like I'm a super freaking busy person um but I see myself actually like when things kind of slow down like because you know I'm in I'm finishing all my work with my clients as far as the astrology stuff I'm not doing the readings anymore it's not for me um eventually I do want to get into the hypnotherapy the quantum physics and being able to what did I just say quantum physics for? Hypnotherapy and um, the uh, quantum healing. That's what I was trying to say. So, um, quantum healing, right? Past life regression, all that. That's what I'm focused on in life. 
because I want to have results. I want to I want to be able to talk about this stuff and really help a person see it with a third with their real eyes like they real. I want to bridge the gap between um, science and spirituality, you know, with psychology and the tool of hypnosis and spirituality. And so uh, but I do see myself becoming especially once I hit a thousand like that was my goal for a long time I don't do YouTube for money I don't do YouTube for anything but purely to speak for what's on my heart and share that with you guys I'm sharing my knowledge I'm sharing my wisdom I'm sharing my experiences some and I'm super emotional like you guys just don't know um, just bonding with you guys over this screen is a lot for me. And sometimes I judge myself like, you know, because you have to be vulnerable to get on the camera like this. Some people, they just got it in them, you know, but I know what I'm saying needs to be heard. Like, and it might help somebody become enlightened in their life about life. It might help them to become aware of something greater than their problem, right? And it might help them to get out of their problem and get through their problem, through the mind, through the power of your thoughts, through the aware of your, and through the conscious effort of being aware of how you think and, and know that you ain't going to see no changes if you are doing the same thing in life. You are a vibrational match to only what you are. So all these people who are talking about spirituality and all this as a trend, if it's not real, I'm going to know it. I'm going to sense it. I try to give genuine information that is can be used in life. So that people be can become aware of where they are. Where are you? When you wake up every day, how do you feel? When you wake up early in the morning, what do you feel? Do you feel good about your day, about yourself? Or do you not feel good? Do you feel like you're waking up and your point of reference is oh, another day? Because if it is, it could be a phase in your life. It could be a Saturn return. It could be a current transit. You could look at astrology. It could be your energy. You just low. It could be, you know, whatever it is you're telling yourself too. It could be the people you're around. It could be the energy you're around. I like to teach people that energy is so important. My channel is about people becoming aware of who you are for real who are you the bare bones get down to the root of who you are and be truthful with who you are so that you could really live this life to the fullest when people say you you only live once to me that means that you only live once as this person under your alias under that name, that race you're born in, that family you're born into, that culture, that tradition, this life as you. I believe in reincarnations. I know we've done this over and over again because I used to have visions of being other races. Um, my predominant energy is feminine. That's the one I choose mostly. Um, and yeah, like, but yeah, like I'm, I know myself. I know enough about myself. And what I don't know, I've yet to discover. And I'm excited about that. But I say all that to say, like, I'm on YouTube for just, like, my energy alone is very precious. And I'm aware of that. So is yours. Your time is precious. That's why I'm not going to waste your time with nothingness. I hope my words inspire you. If anything, teach you about life for real and yeah um so um yeah so i do see myself eventually dedicating myself to these lives right where i am going to pick a topic and we can talk about it you guys can like 
put questions about whatever it is. I'll pick a topic though because I want to keep it on the topic and I don't want to get like I realize there's some people out here that really they're quite they don't think before they write their question out and they don't they mean well but then I also am aware that some people they just ask certain questions that I don't know what their intention is so you know, I'm very strategic in how I do things. So, you know, I'll pick the topics. Not going to be just like, ask me anything. I'll pick a topic and we'll focus on that. I just got to get to a thousand subscribers and then we going to get it rocking. And I, I got time. I'm very patient. I don't, I don't care about, um, I just know that I'll be on the algorithm. And then people that feel drawn and attracted to me me as a visual you know like because some people you just can't sit and look at like for too long honestly it's just like i can't keep looking at it <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they're not you know appealing to me that's why god speaks through many forms and shapes and fashions right because god is you know enlightening people of all walks so you know somebody is gonna somebody is gonna like my videos I'm not, I don't, I try not to do much editing on my video. I try not to, um, you know, do all that. Like, I just want it raw and real. So, my videos might be long. I I personally love long YouTube videos. Like, um, my favorite YouTubers, like, they, their videos are long. When they're, like, really short, it'd be, like, I just be like, oh my God, like, I wanted to really relate more to the conversation. Like, you could have angled that so many ways, or you could have talked about that so many ways, right? Um, and so, yeah, like, please let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you guys think about the underworld in general, okay? Have you had any experiences where you seen something spiritually in the uh in more negative experiences right like um you know if you were born and raised in the projects and you've seen the whole pimping prostitution thing going on or you've seen the drug dealing i'm not telling you guys to tell me like be snitching and stuff but what have you seen spiritually in that realm of the underworld? Because that's a really good topic. I feel like that's something that we need to discuss more. And yeah, I hope you guys are well wherever you are. I hope you guys are keeping your vibes high, even in hard times. Remember that you're, you, know, you only attract what you are. So if you see a lot of bad things or routine of negative experiences, it might be based on due to something you're doing um, and something you have to become aware of and learn. And I hope you guys are enjoying the fruits of your labor and appreciating life for what it's worth and for what it is and all that it has and for the little things, the beautiful things that is around you. I hope that you're able to appreciate it and please take care of the people that take care of you because it's a very rare thing to have genuine people that love you. You don't want to take time for granted because time is something you'll never get back. So please love on the ones that love you, that do, do things for you, consider you and care for you. Treat them kind, with kind words. Do something nice for them. Show them your love and appreciation. If you didn't get it right, today try again tomorrow uh we're not here to be perfect but we are here to do our best okay all right take care everybody